Good morning, friends, and uh, once again, welcome from sharestudingschool.com today, 3rd Feb 2017. Nifty uh, daily chart, if you look at current uh, bar or current candle, this is actually a shape of uh, spinning top. Unfortunately, the trend uh, is not that strong as far as uh, previous bars are concerned because if when this kind of formation comes or uh, when spinning tops has to be spinning top has to be followed by various uh, two three bullish bars and then if it comes then generally it, it is a trend reversal signal at this moment after uh, immediate consolidation one bullish bar formed and again immediately um, this formation is showing us that yes there is a confusion there is a confusion between bulls and bears market is not sure uh, and that reason is nothing but uh, RSI is showing us a overbought condition. Current uh, RSI is above 70. And that is a reason bulls are not so confident. After budget, everything was considered as a excellent. And that is a reason we have seen this kind of formation. But right from these days, right from 27th, we are actually trading in the overbought condition. And uh, in such a scenario, actually, Buying at current level is uh, finding very difficult for bulls and that is the reason they are expecting a proper correction out here. But that correction will take nifty right from if I join this uh, lowest close, last two close, then this is a current trend line which uh, uh, bulls has to follow. And that is the reason that correction can take nifty to around uh, if this this happens within a, one or two days, then it can take Nifty to around 8,600 or maybe further below uh, to 8,550 level. And that correction is nothing but basically a required correction for bulls and they will wait. Probably market may even go sideways to this trend line. So there are two chances that uh, market will come down. Uh, the market will remain sideways and touch this trend line somewhere around here or market may take a correction and touch trend line somewhere here. So currently we will have to follow this trend line at this moment. And if market is above this trend line, then we should consider that we are in uptrend. If in case this trend line breaches, then that time probably we may think about coming out with different strategy. But at this moment we will, well, every correction will be considered as a buying opportunity. So daily chart is showing us we are in overbought condition. Price is showing us, yes, market is skeptical about going up because um, uh, of overbought condition, because of a strong resistance, Fibonacci retracement, past accumulation. So every, every probable uh, resistance is here in this area. And that is a reason bulls are not actually keen to buy. However, bears are also not sure because of the fundamentals, because of the current scenario, because of the uh, news because of international condition everything is in favor of bulls though that is the reason bears are also not keen to take this market and hence we will see consolidation over here uh, intraday chart if i convert uh, and check intraday uh, moving average in our early or two early chart if i uh, convert this into early chart we will uh, look like this uh, in early chart we have seen this formation of 150 and 20 moving average which is in uptrend uh, angle of moving average is excellent they are around uh, 30 to 45 degrees so it is not that stiff and um, uh, but price is far away from this 20 moving averages and when it happens that price goes far away from moving averages then that time price has to pull back to average for support and uh, accordingly that we need to take a correction to this level of 8670 level so 8670 level should act as a strong support at this moment so if you look at daily chart 8670 so in daily chart somewhere here that price comes so as we have said that price should come to and test a correction so uh, probably as per a daily chart to be may come to this level of 8660 to 40 around 8650 or probably further go down to this level that is uh, low this this level so in a day if it comes down then it can come to this level if in a in two three days it comes down then it will come to this level so that is the reason uh, convert this chart into hourly formation and this extension which we have plotted yesterday and we have said that 8751 will be a resistance and that's what we have seen 
our first target achieved and then market started uh, taking a profit booking and uh, 8800 level which we want to market to achieve or rather a prop uh, proper target will be in future will be 8880 level but uh, as i said in yesterday's uh, analysis that it will not immediately go in a single uh, trend it will take a correction and then go probably uh, what i have done you can see this this is a trend line which actually we have followed and this trend line uh, uh, once it had a bridge had been tested as a resistance so i have plotted a uh, parallel line for this trend line so i am expecting market to now go uh, take this trend in future and that is the reason 8330 can be achieved with taking a support to this trade line and probably somewhere here we may see that market has achieved that level so in coming uh, period as far as intraday is concerned i want you to plot a trend line to parallel to this trade line to uh, plot a proper trend line what you will have to do is you will convert this chart into two hourly chart because that is uh, that will reduce nuisance and then uh, change this to line chart that is much better when we plot a trend line if you convert it into line chart uh, change into line chart and then what you have to do is take this close and uh, this or even if you convert it into bar chart that will be also fine but in that case what i want you to actually take this as a close then check out maximum lows or maximum close should be uh, touching this line and uh, this resistance it has to be tested as a resistance in the uh, at least once once it has breached it should test resistance so this is where it has tested a resistance so maximum close or maximum um, uh, lows or maximum opening has been actually tested at this level and this has been tested as a resistance so this is the ideal trend line and i have plotted a parallel line to this line here and uh, the lowest close here which i have to consider as a uh, uh, trend initiative initiative initiation line and after that i have just allowed this line to pass to parallel to this line so that is the reason i am expecting market to uh, take this trade so till we are above this line we are in bullish so probably today being the last day of the week uh, we may seek a correction by the time this 20 ema is further down to this trade line so um, uh, exact uh, correction should be actually to touch uh, 20 ema but probably when market remain in consolidation 20 ema will come near this trend line and at that time it may test uh, support again and again so i'll uh, remain bullish in this market and i'll consider this lower level that is 8670 level as my stop loss if in case nifty catches uh, comes below that line then i'll just uh, square off my long position and i'll wait for new position and new pattern to uh, uh, show tomorrow or day after or probably next week and uh, this will be my next target and my final target for nifty will be for coming uh, week or probably coming month is 8800 level so my stop loss will be 8650 level and i'll keep long position in uh, nifty and around 8800 i'll book my 50 percent profit and around 8880 i'll book my profit up uh, another 50 percent so this is my strategy for nifty trading so wish you best of luck friends and um, happy trading thank you very much for watching this video good day